Hi, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online beta. Last episode, we saved the island from a bunch of crazy necromancers, and we destroyed an old relic, which basically pissed off Captain Colleen. Although, the next part of our quest line says to go talk to her. She made it very clear that she didn't want us coming with her, but we'll see what she has to say now. I swear never to sail with you again. Mm -hmm. But Chief Tuzgul has asked me to sail you to Glenumbra, which I will do. Okay. Uh, he's ready to join the uh, Daggerfall Covenant. He asked you to take me to Daggerfall. Only out of respect for the Chief and for the good of the Alliance, not for you. Are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Gosh, she's mad. But she was crazy. She wanted to use this necromancer's, like, uh, relic that was going to raise the dead, steal people's souls. Uh, what? What is wrong with people? Crazy bitch. There, I said it. Okay, here we are. Welcome to Daggerfall. Thank you. So I notice our whole crew is with us. Uh, Nazmat. Don't know who that is. There's, there's a ring. This is actually quite fun. Look at him squirm. Okay. <laughs> I could get used to traveling around with you. It's never dull. I'll give you that. Okay. What is, what is everybody mad upset about him? The irony is delicious. You could cut it with a knife. What irony? What are we talking we about? Agree. He's going to choose one way or the other, or we're throwing him off the boat. Oh, so <laughs> I guess these are the women he's picked up, and they're going to make him choose which one he wants. <laughs> All right. Off to see the uh, King of the Daggerfall, whatever call it, to get us enrolled in that, or at least the orcs enrolled. Or at least, uh, whoa, hello, Orgonian. Thought you were from a different alliance. It's very wet here. When you visit the shops and markets, be sure to tell them the Daggerfall guard sent you. Uh, okay. You... Really? You getting a cutback for uh, sending people to the shops? Dang it. Need more stamina. I should have put more points into stamina. Uh, what do we got going on here? Horses. Oh, can I buy a horse? If you want a horse, then we have something to talk about. If you want gossip, find the tavern. Okay, all right. I want a horse? Oh my God! Seventeen thousand. Hmm. All right. Well, no mount for me today. What do you guys say for me, Sir Lannis? The proud city of Daggerfall greets uh -huh. you. Oh. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I have bring a petition. The Seamount War Chief. Impressive. I don't know what you did to convince him, friend. But you have my gratitude. Well mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. I will take this petition to High King Emmerich immediately. Enjoy your stay in Daggerfall. Will do. Completed. All right, so um, let's take a look at the map here. Oops, I'm pressing all these buttons. We had a quest to meet the Prophet. Aha! And he's in Daggerfall. So let's go take a look at the that real quick here. This is uh, going to be back to the main storyline. Okay, ooh, what is... Hello? Rough. What's wrong? Okay. Uh, hmm. Not sure what's going on here. Wasn't paying attention there. Where are you taking me, boy? What are we doing? Just me think we're gonna back on the main quest line. Your interference will not be tolerated. Whoa! Bloodthorn assassin. Did we just kill the bloodthorns? I can't remember. Daggerfall Market Shopping List. Grocer, three blood oranges, tailor, a crescent emblem cloak, a florist, black roses with thorns. 
All right, I, I examined him. Complete. Read the note. Okay, talk to. The, okay. Psh. All right. Uh, ton more stuff to do, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna talk to the Prophet. I want to see what that where that pans out, and we'll uh, this mysterious dog quest. We'll put that on hold for just a second. Go in the right direction. Oh, hello. Nice hat. These people gathering around a statue. Oh, hey, the prophet. He's in his ethereal form. You not actually here? There you are, You must speak at once. I, I'm Listen, here. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Okay. I work in a city of Bretons. It's air heavy with the smells of bait bread, horses, and intrigue. Daggerfowl. I'm here. The harborage is in an abandoned cave outside the city. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so there's the harborage outside of town. Let's go take a look. Why not? That is what we're supposed to be doing. Although, oof. Although it's kind of weird that he was uh, just standing there in his uh, ethereal form or whatever you would call it. Like ghost-like whatever. Red Rook. Red Rook bandit. He's fishing. He doesn't need me to bother him. Where is this cave? So find the harborage. Honestly, it's probably on the other side. Oh, is this some more iron? Yeah, we'll worry about that. Oh, no. Go away, doggy. Alright, let's, let's quickly run around the other side of this and see where if we can find what this is. I'm horrible at finding uh, cave locations. Here we go. And there's our buddy, the prophet. Interesting load screens. Find the harborage. This is uh, pretty dank. I feel I'm close to death. Yeah, I'm coming. Welcome to the harborage, Vestige. Yep. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can totally smell it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. The history lesson. So, I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time. This moment. So, am I from a different with me through time period? Past events. I did not realize that that I might be from a different time period. Oh, look at me! I'm all translucent. None of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Okay. I think I hope everything's supposed to be a bit blurry. I can't even hear him. He's the moth priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. Okay. Something about being brought into the home of the priest. There. Who's there? He first put eyes, set eyes on the Elder Scrolls. Something. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality. Each profound in 
I'm impressed you're able to get around this well without to see. All right. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. And what does that have to do with me? I know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. Oh. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Baron Aquilarius, the son of the Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leo. Okay. Baron is not truly a dragon, as those who sit upon the ruling throne must be, in accordance with tradition. It's like he's getting softer all the time. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. Okay. Let's let's go meet him. Is this the Elder Scroll? Oh. The first companion. Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Oh. Next, Abnathar, a powerful sorcerer, Grand Chancellor of the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard of the Master, Sign of the Heart, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. He's just way too soft. All right, so he introduced everybody, but he's just way too soft. Like, I know the, the, the game volume's down a little bit because I don't want it overbearing when I do fight scenes and everything so you can still hear me. But it's like he, he starts off just fine, but then he starts goes, just trails off into, like, nothing. So, I mean, here's here's Lyris Titanborn or whatever her name was. She was the one with us in Cold Harbor. There's some Red Guard dude with, like, a big ninja sword in his back. One of these guys was the traitor. I don't think it was him. I think it was this one was the traitor. And there's the false king. Who's actually not dragonborn. And uh, I'll walk over their table because I don't care. What do you got for me, Prophet? These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of king. And so how could that tournament? Marco convinced Baron that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Baron as one of the dragonborn. Okay. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. All right. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Okay. Who you've already met, Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength and her loyalty. To All right. Let's just get to the cut of the chase here. Marco, the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Baron to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Okay. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Yes. Let's watch. Where should we watch it from? Witness the five companions in action. Right here. All right. They're gonna perform some ritual that's just. The dragon, I am Risha. Many markers. It will work, my liege. 
The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. Ah! By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Oh. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Mary Marco, what have you done? Gallop, you fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Okay. So that, that dude was a dick, and it wasn't the, well, okay. I get it. Understood. Arrogance. The tore the veil between Nair and Oblivion, allowing Melimarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the flame nap. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nair. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. Mm -hmm. Marco tricked Beren into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Gosh, Elder Scrolls okay. named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Val the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Beren okay. was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahar took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Val. Okay, yeah, we saw her there. He Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clivio rules as Emperor's Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. Uh, hmm, what, uh, uh, I don't know what any of this when means. When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interest and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. Okay. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Bao does not favor loose ends. Okay, so, wow. This is going to be a really story-heavy recording. So long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. Yep. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Bao the opportunity he desired. Molog Bao's dark anchors pierced the two of them and seemed to draw the nerve into the depths of Cold Harbor. His terrible engines of destruction yeah, well, your dialogue is pretty much wasted when you have giant clanking going on in the background. Something about world anchors and this and that. Let's just see if we can skip ahead. Can't hear him anyways. Whoa! <laughs> Never mind. I guess I'll just wait for the old man. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he would merge our world and his own. He will survive the ordeal, but those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Bar okay. and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. Yes, Andrew. let's get out of here. I've learned enough. I want to fight somebody. I don't want to learn everything there is to know yet. And so it begins. 
the remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. Okay, well. And there is so hmm. much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. Okay. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrifice her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take me in the Marco's agents. Leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the race of the Okay, you are getting soft again. One another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents wherever they can be found and expose their lies. Yes. Forgive me. Bringing you into my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Miss Fitch. Well, okay, so, gosh, I hate to do that because it's, um, we, we got a lot of story here and it's really interesting, but I'm, I'm not sure, you know, how much of that is going to be really interesting to rewatch re re on a YouTube video. Let's take a look at our skills. We've got some skill points to unlock here. Searing Strike is not quite ready. We've got two skill points. Um... Soul magic. What's our racial? Shield affinity. Uh, you know, that sounds good. Let's increase our stamina. Because we can always use stamina. We're always running every place. Let's look at our scare character. Uh, no skill points. I mean, no uh, attribute points to spend there. All right. So basically, we're we're left to do back the other quest that uh, we had started, which was uh, the Blood and the Crescent Moon. I think. Let's check our, our, our log here. Uh, oh, yeah, we had that treasure we never did, but oh well. Too late now. Well, um, you know, I hate to do it because we didn't get really get much done, but we've already been recording for over 20 minutes here, and I mean, I'll, this is kind of a story heavy episode but i think we're going to head call it here and we'll start again with some more action hopefully the next one will be all action so like i said i'm going to cut it here i'm going to continue filming this is this is the last night for the beta so i'm going to try to get as far as i can